In 1951, an immediate impact on the cancer survival rate began with the development of the Cobalt 60 therapy machine created by Dr. Harold Johns. Harold Johns' uh, motto was physics conquers all. He used that motto whenever some problem arose. He would tell his students, if you apply physics, apply logic, you'll solve it. Originally from West China, Harold Alfred Johns moved to Canada and obtained physics degrees from both McMaster and Toronto universities. In 1945, he was hired by the Saskatoon Cancer Clinic. It was here that Dr. Johns, along with graduate student Sylvia Fedorik, applied basic physics with a painstaking thoroughness to develop Cobalt 60. This major technological achievement could now treat deep-seated and difficult-to-access tumors through cobalt therapy. But I think the cobalt unit should be looked upon uh, as a milestone in the progress of, uh, <coughs> the, of radiation therapy as a clinical science. It was a worldwide splash. It was very exciting. And it was a good use of radiation this time as opposed to the military use. It was long overdue that we, uh, that we accept the good side of radiation. As well, uh, in that it <coughs> was independent of electrical power, as uh, X-ray machines are, these other machines, uh, it was particularly useful <coughs> in developing countries where electrical source often was not available. Dr. Johns was also influential in the early development of CT scanners and the definition of mammographic imaging. He also did significant work in showing DNA damage in cells exposed to ultraviolet rays. Hill Johns left uh, also that, that kind of legacy that uh, um, any new field can be, can be tackled with application of physics. He applied his uh, physical principles instrumentation to any, any field, and, and uh, those kind of uh, applications could solve enormous problems in these fields and move them forward. Dr. John's book, The Physics of Radiology, is considered to be the primary work in medical physics, the field of Canadian medicine that he founded. Well, the physics of radiology is, uh, has been known to be the Bible of medical physics worldwide. The book has been used uh, to train medical physicists, um, to train radiation um, oncology specialists, to train diagnostic radiology specialists in medicine, and is a very solid uh, reference book that has been translated into numerous languages and has gone through many, many editions and is still uh, very popular. The problems are reduced down. The language is straightforward, very simple, and with numerous examples. And because of that, it's really approachable uh, at many levels. Dr. Harold Johns, scientist, mentor, and educator, one whose greatest contribution lies in the legacy of his students now working in fundamental cancer research and advanced imaging. Harold Johns was uh, considered the father of medical physics in Canada. He, uh, he established a very large group at Ontario Cancer Institute and over the years um, produced students who are now the leaders in two fields, radiotherapy and medical imaging. In fact, most of the medical physicists in Canada can trace their roots through the supervisors and the supervisor supervisors to Hell Johns. He'll be very gratified that he's been recognized by the medical community as a person who deserves to be included with them.